Senpai. I'm here to become a mother. Huh? My brain stopped working for a second. I've been sleep deprived and my mind could only take in so much information. I stared at the woman standing before me. If I'm not mistaken, she's Hina Hazakura, one of my junior employees. I don't think I'm dreaming or hallucinating. <laughs> huh? I'm so confused. Why did she barge in here to tell me that? She's making no sense at all. I'm here to become a mother. That's the second time she said it. So that means I didn't hear her wrong. My name is Minoru Yaguruma. I'm an ordinary office worker, but this is no ordinary situation. This is the strangest thing that's happened to me. But I kind of have an idea of where it came from. Let me explain. Minoru, who is it? Do we have a guest? Hey, Yuka. Uh, well, this lady is... Hey, it's Hina-chan. What? You know her? This is my niece. Her name is Yuka Hiragi. She's currently living with me due to family matters. She's a ball of energy, constantly bouncing all over the place. Hina-chan, hey, hey! Yuka-chan, it's been so long. Hey, hey! They faced one another and held hands. They looked so happy to see each other. I didn't understand. How does Yuka know Hazakura? My mother and Yuka-chan's mother were really close friends. They used to come over all the time, right? Right? What a small world. I can't believe they knew each other. Wait a second. Hmm. Do I smell something burning? It's Black! Mr. Black! It, it's... It's Mr. Black! Okay, senpai. There are so many things we have to talk about. What the heck is all of this? You haven't washed your clothes, and your room is filthy! This is a no-no! A huge no-no! <laughs> it's a no-no! A huge no-no! Uh, <laughs> this is not funny at all! Gosh, we need to clean this all up! Ugh, your clothes are all damp! Get them all in the washing machine! And we have to do something about all of this dust! Yes, ma'am. I never knew she could be this scary. But she's right. Everything she said is right on point. She cleaned everything up as if she'd been a housewife for 50 years. Whoa! Good. This is much better. It's nice to have a clean room, right? Hina and I weren't useful at all. It was all Hazakura. I mean, I helped a little, I guess. I feel so worthless. She shouldn't have had to do that. Yay! A hamburger steak! You can cook too? I can't wait to eat this! Huh, <laughs> senpai. Do you regret underestimating me? Now, go on, eat. It's been a while since I ate a home-cooked meal. Both Yuka and I wolfed it down. We even got seconds. I made enough for you to eat in the morning. You should warm the miso soup before you drink it. Oh, and we can plan everything out tomorrow at the office. Huh? A plan? Good night, senpai. Yuka-chan. Hey, wait a second. What? <clears throat> How's she gone already? The next day, I asked Hasakura to eat lunch with me. I wanted to thank her for yesterday. And I also wanted to ask her what she meant when she mentioned a plan. You can't take care of Yuka-chan all alone. You're not capable of it. Man, this girl does not know how to sugarcoat things. Uh, we'll be fine. You don't look too good, senpai. You're always sleeping and your work performance hasn't been so great. Everybody is worried about you. Plus, do you realize how we're all cleaning up the mess you make? Ah! No hesitation towards shooting me down. I know she's right, though. I should tell you why I've been a total mess. My sister, Yuka's mother died in a car accident a while ago. Mommy won't open her eyes. Why won't she wake up? Minoru, please. I'll be fine. Yuka. Yuka's father died due to an illness when she was younger. On top of that, both of my parents are also not present. We only have each other. We're the only ones left in our family. There's no way I am letting go of her. I'm going to raise her. 
and I'm going to raise her well. This is how my family can rest in peace. Gosh, Senpai. I see you haven't changed at all, have you? But the thing is, you're not handling at all. Taking care of the house, raising Yuka, and working. You've got too much on your shoulders. Uh, I guess. So that's where I come in. It's my job to support my boss. I will step in as the mother figure to help you guys. Uh, what? Are you seriously suggesting to be Yuka's mother? No, really? It's okay to rely on others when you need some help, senpai. Don't you remember? You're the one that told me that. I'll get things under control. For instance, we could take turns dropping off Yuka to daycare and picking her up. I've already decided you can't change my mind. And Yuka-chan has already given me her approval too. I will be her mother. And so, the three of us started living together. Initially, I felt uneasy about it. But I was surprised to see how well Yuka and Hazakura got along. Inya-chan, give me a book! Sure thing. Once upon a time, there lived an old man. Mommy. I know, you miss her, Yuka-chan. Hazakura always had kind and caring eyes whenever she looked at Yuka. It was a brand new side of Hazakura that I had never seen before. She was skillful in everything she did. Cleaning, laundry, you name it. Our room was always clean now. It was as if she used magic to get everything done. <sighs> Got lots to do. Watching her brought back memories of my family. When my sister, my father, and my mother were all alive, we used to laugh together. Hazakura, every dish you made is delicious. Hey, Yuka, don't forget to eat your green peppers. Ew, they're so bitter. You've got this, Yuka-chan. Why don't you just try a teeny tiny bite? For me? I'm not sure if it's because Hazakura is with us, but I have been feeling great recently. My appetite is back, and I don't feel like my responsibilities are a burden anymore. This, and that, you know, there's so much of her stuff here now. I hadn't realized how many things Hazakura had brought over from her place till now. The interior looked quite different before she came here. Sometimes I feel quite uncomfortable, especially when I find certain delicates before she folds them. Oh, senpai! Can I bring my stuff over tomorrow? I have a futon and a pillow and a mattress. Wait a second, uh... Are you planning to stay here? Are you planning to live here? It'll be too much of a hassle going back and forth. It would be nice if I could just stay here. Don't worry. I'll pay for the rent and utility bills, and all of that. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Y you're a woman, and I'm a man, and we can't live under the same roof. Oh, I didn't realize you were so conservative. What about you, Yuka-chan? Can I live here? Yuka-chan, you're going to live with us? Does that mean you're going to sleep next to each other? Yes, of course. We'll take baths together and go to sleep in the same futon. Yay! I get to sleep with Yuka-chan. Yuka was so excited, I couldn't say no. It's true when they say women in the house have the upper hand. So now we'll... be living together. How is this going to turn out? Will I be okay? Uh... I'm just not used to seeing things like that. What do I do? It's hanging right there! Senpai, is my underwear making you feel uncomfortable? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. No, they're not. You should refrain from displaying your undergarments. I shouldn't be seeing them. I don't mind, because it's you, senpai. Huh? Hazakura looked up at me. I could see her cheeks were turning red. She was blushing. I wasn't expecting to be speechless. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Gosh, you are so easy to mess with. I wouldn't start something with Yuka-chan in the same room. We don't need to teach her about adult things yet. Uh, d don't be ridiculous! Nothing you do can affect me. Oh my gosh, she shouldn't joke th about things like that. It's bad for my heart. So yeah, it's not easy living with a woman. But Hazakura had been a huge help, and I felt grateful for her existence. <sighs> Yuka kept waking up during the night. She must be feeling lonely without her mother. She would suddenly sit up and weep. Sometimes it lasted for hours. Mommy, honey, honey, mommy. 
Yuka, Yuka. It broke my heart. I knew I could never fill the gaping hole in her heart, and it killed me. I could never fall asleep after seeing how broken Yuka still was. I used to be sleep deprived because of that. However, Yuka stopped waking up during the night after Hazakura came to live with us. Sleep tight, Yuka-chan. I'm right here, sweetie. Nothing scary is going to happen to you anymore. Hazakura. It was like... I was watching a real mother take care of her child. For some reason, I couldn't take my eyes off her sweet and gentle smile. I grew up with my father. I lost my mother when I was around Yuka-chan's age. She passed away. I had no idea. But I thought you said your mom was friends with my sister. Oh, that was about my stepmother. My father remarried when I was in high school. We get along and have a younger brother who came with her. Before she came, it was just my father and me. He was busy with work, so I was in charge of all of the housework. I see. So that's why she's so efficient when it comes to taking care of the house. She's had to do it her entire life. But my father and I lived with my grandparents, so he got help wherever he needed it. Now that I think about it, my parents passed away a while back, and the same goes for Yuka's late father. My family's all gone now. Yuka's the only one left in my life. Senpai. Maybe I should get purified. My family must be cursed. <laughs> no, Minoru. Don't go there! I felt the air become dense as I talked about my family. I tried to lighten up the mood. Anyways, Hazakura. I'm proud of how far you've come. You used to be so unreliable, making errors all over the place. Hey, uh, senpai, uh, that's a bear! You can't bring up the past now, okay? No, I'm serious. You're a completely different person now. <sighs> the due date? I had it wrong! Oh my gosh, what do I do? I forgot that we've had an appointment today. Back when she was a new employee at the office, I was the one who trained her. She was always passionate about the job. Too passionate. I think that's what caused her to make mistakes often. I don't know how many times I had to step in. I even visited clients to apologize for the mistakes she made. At one point, people at the office called me the sorry guy since I went around apologizing to everyone. You used to be such a crybaby. Look how big you've grown, Hazakura. I'm so proud of you. Please erase those memories from your head, senpai! Ah! <laughs> no way! I'm going to hang on to those memories no matter what. Jeez, you're so mean, gosh. I'm serious. She's become a professional at what she does. And now she's taking care of my private life as well. Yes, yes, I understand. Let me write it down. I should start working too. I shouldn't let her do all the work. Watching her gave me the motivation to put effort into life. Hazakura? There's one thing I'm curious about. Why is Hazakura going out of her way to help me? I'm sure she has a good reason other than being tired of cleaning up my mess at work. I'm her boss. But maybe she wants more out of this relationship. I mean, a man has the right to hope, right? I'm home! Uh oh Huh? Is Hazakura not home yet? Hazakura's shoes were missing from the entrance, but it was her turn to pick Yuka up from daycare. Maybe she's going shopping. Huh? No way! Hey, Yuka! Are you taking a bath alone?! Huh? Senpai? Ah, no way! I I'm so sorry, I, I didn't see your shoes, I, I thought you were out and uh... My shoes, they got dirty, so I'm washing them. Anyways, my bad. I didn't see anything. Nothing. Saw nothing. Uh, can you pass me the soy sauce? S sir, here you go. What's wrong, Minoru? Hina chan, your face is so red. This is bad. What do I do? I can't look at Hazakura's face. She was blushing to her ears. She looked beautiful and adorable at the same time. And I kept thinking about what happened earlier. That's when I realized, or maybe, I just didn't want to admit it till then. Hazakura had become more than just a colleague to me. She's a full-grown, wonderful, 
Independent woman. Oh, I'll wash the dishes tonight. I appreciate it, senpai. No problem. I should be the one thanking you. I really appreciate all you've done for us, Hasakura. Senpai. Mm-hmm. Look, Minoru, I might pick the table. I'm really good at it. Wow, Yuka. Thank you for helping us out. I'm so proud of you, Yuka-chan. Thank you. I don't know if it's because of the earlier realization, but our life together started to change, little by little. Oh, this is pretty reasonable. This is good meat. Oh, I know! We should make some sukiyaki today! Yay! I love sukiyaki! Sounds great! Sukiyaki is my favorite! Well, we should get eggs then! Sukiyaki, sukiyaki! Oh my, you are such a sweet girl. Are you shopping with your mommy and daddy? Huh? Well, yep, I am. Hey, Yuka! Yuka-chan? I'm here, Spin Pike. And what are we going to get on first? I can't decide! Hmm, let's see. The Ferris wheel sounds fun. Or maybe we should... What about the merry-go-round? Merry-go-round, yes! But all three of us get on together, okay? I have to say, this is a bit embarrassing, don't you think? Uh, are you having fun, Yuka-chan? Yep. She smells so nice, and she's so soft. That was all I could think of at that moment. <gasps> so, so I, I can feel your breath in my ear. Oh, my bad. Ah, oh, gosh, even her voice is adorable. Stop it. Stop. Keep your cool, Minoru. She's asleep. I'm sure she was exhausted. She was jumping around the whole day today. I realized the three of us were holding hands. It felt comfortable. It even felt natural. I could feel the warmth between the palms of our hands, and I realized I never wanted to lose it. I watched the sunset through the window, and I made a decision. It's so hot. After we got home from the amusement park, we realized Yuka had a fever. Poor thing. She was burning up, and her breathing had become shallow. You need to lie down, sweetie. I'm sure your fever will go down once you rest your body. Yuka's fevers weren't uncommon. She used to get them all the time when it was just the two of us. But those days feel like such a long time ago. I need to consider all possible choices, but I need to keep my focus on what would be best for Yuka. <sighs> Mommy, Minoru, Hina-chan, please, don't leave me behind. I... We're right here, Yuka. We will never leave you alone. We promise. I hope the choices I make for Yuka turn out to be the best choices for us, too. A few days later... Yuka's fever was completely gone. We were relieved to see she was back to being Little Miss Energy Ball. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Hina-chan, I want to eat. Yuka jumped up and hugged Hasakura's leg. Suddenly... Oh. <sighs> Hina-chan, what's wrong? Hasakura! <gasps> You're burning up. Hold on. I'm going to get you to a hospital, okay? What about work, senpai? Work can wait! You're more important! Maybe she caught Yuka's cold. If so, that is completely my fault! I'm glad it wasn't the flu. The doctor said you'll be fine as long as you drink your medicine and stay in bed. I'm sorry, I feel awful. Why are you apologizing, silly? It's my fault. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have let you overwork yourself like that. No, that's not... I... I... I think that God's way of warning me. Because I wasn't completely truthful with you, and... You're talking nonsense. It's because of the fever. Stop talking. You need some rest. Listen to me, senpai. I meant it when I said I wanted to protect Yuka-chan. But what I didn't tell you is that I wanted to do it mostly because of you. Back when I was a new employee, I caused so much trouble. Everyone had to do so much because of me. I couldn't sleep at night. I even thought about quitting since I was so useless. It was all I could think about then. But every time something happened, you... 
You were there to save me, and you encouraged me to keep pooping. Everybody starts with no experience and no knowledge. You're being too hard on yourself, okay? Listen carefully. It's okay to rely on others when you need some help. If you don't know who to rely on, come to me. You have no idea how grateful I was. Your encouragement saved me. You're the reason why I am here right now. And since then, I've had I feel a senpai. I... I get it. I get what you're trying to tell me right now, Hazakura. But look at me now. Causing trouble for you and Yuka-chan, I always ruin everything for everyone. I... I feel so... You're not causing trouble for either of us. Come on, look around. Hmm, I'm back. Hina-chan, you're awake? Are you okay? Yuka-chan... Everything you feel for her, the things you have done for her, Yuka is aware of all of it. She loves you from the bottom of her heart. You're not just a babysitter or a replacement for her mother. No, no, don't cry. Hina-chan, I'm here for you. I'll always be here for you, Hina-chan. <laughs> hey, Hina, I was thinking, maybe you can become her real mother, and we can be a real family. You, me, and Yuka. Uh, okay, yes. Yuka hugged Hina while she cried for a while. I could see they already had a strong bond. I wrapped my arms around both of them. A few years after, we became a family. Morning, Daddy. Huh? What's going on? You never wake up early, Princess. Is something wrong? <laughs> I'm going to be a big sister soon. I don't have time to sleep in. Daddy, Mommy, I'm leaving. Be careful, Yuka. Watch out for cars and bikes! She's gotten so big now. Gosh, I'm starting to feel so old. Oh, come on, stop it. I need you to stay young. Yeah, you're right. The baby's gonna need a strong dad. I can't wait to meet this little guy. Gotta work hard to pay for those diapers. Just don't overwork yourself. I don't want you collapsing from fatigue. I know. I'll be careful. My life does not belong to just me anymore. My precious family needs to stay strong. I will never forget that. I will always be here to protect them. Don't come home too late, honey. I won't. I'll see you later. Hey, sis. Dad. Mom. Yuka's dad. I know you're watching down on us from heaven. I'm going to make a vow to you. I will do everything in my power to protect this perfect family. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.